to the arm. The next morning, Heidi could scarcely believe that she was on her way home at last. It was a sad day for Clara, but her father promised that she could visit Heidi the following year. The journey passed quickly, and it wasn't long before Heidi arrived at Grandmother's cottage. She took twelve fresh, soft white rolls from her basket and piled them on the old lady's lap. Grandmother was delighted with the rolls, but she was even more delighted to have Heidi at her side once more. Then Heidi set off for her grandfather's cottage, promising to return the next day. The sun was setting as Heidi climbed the steep path, and she stopped to gaze at the wonderful sight that lay before her. Even in her dreams, she had not remembered how beautiful it was. The mountains rose like flames above the snowfield. Far below stretched the valley, and all around everything glittered and sparkled. At last, Heidi reached the cottage and found Grandfather sitting outside smoking his pipe. Heidi threw herself into his arms, crying, "Grandfather, Grandfather!" For a minute or two, the old man couldn't speak. His eyes were wet with tears, which he brushed away roughly with the back of his hand. He lifted his granddaughter onto his knee and kissed her. Heidi gave him a leather money bag and a letter from Herr Sesemann. When Grandfather had read the letter, he gave the money bag to Heidi. "I have no need for money," he said. "You keep it, Heidi." Heidi wanted to use the money to buy fresh rolls every day for Grandmother. That night, Heidi slept peacefully for the first time in nearly a year. It was so wonderful to be in her little bed of hay. The following Sunday, Grandfather and Heidi got up early and walked down to the village. They were going to church because Heidi had told Grandfather how Grandmama had taught her to say her prayers every day. The villagers were amazed to see the arm uncle in church. After the service, Heidi and her grandfather went to the pastor's house, where the pastor greeted the arm uncle like an old friend. Grandfather told the pastor that he had decided to move to the village for the winter, so that Heidi could go to school every day. Thanks to Heidi, grandfather was no longer the fierce old arm uncle who hated everybody.